In this video, I'm going to give you one tip, one thing to try to make your nightmares and your night terrors go away. Stay tuned. Hey everybody, it's Crystal Ann Compton. Welcome to my channel. Welcome to this video where we're going to be talking about nightmares and night terrors something that so many of us suffer from. Um, but before I go into that, just want to welcome anybody new. Please subscribe, stay connected. I teach a lot. I'm going to be teaching way more this year and I would love to be able to connect with you as I do. Night terrors, nightmares. Let's talk about the difference between the two first. Nightmares are more standard and they are not as awful as night terrors. We can be in a nightmare and it can be horrifying, but there is a sense of energetic separation. Like we can wake up and we can say, whoa, you know, that was a nightmare and we can move on from it. Night terrors are different. Night terrors typically happen while we're in the hypnagogic state or the hypnopompic. I always, pompic, I always get those two mixed up. We're in a trance really. It's something that tends to wake us up so our eyes can be open and we can be looking around our room, but at the same time, we are dreaming. A lot of times, night terrors incorporate things like bugs or spiders, and so you can actually feel them crawling all over your body and making a face, y'all, because <laughs> I've had night terrors before and, and I've had my eyes open. I've sat right up in bed and I've screamed because I saw all the spiders and bugs on me and my husband wakes up and says, wake up, there's nothing on you. But it felt so real and it was traumatizing. Now other types of night terrors can involve actual beings. I've had night terrors where I've, I've been woken, sat up in bed, kind of looked at the wall and there was this big opening, almost like a portal, and there was a man standing right there. I mean, I'm, I'm awake, but I'm still entranced. I'm still asleep and of course it's going to freak you out, especially if you don't have control of your faculties. Night terrors are kind of a ratcheted, night, ratcheted up nightmare, but nightmare, nightmares are horrible too. And some of us suffer from these chronically. And there's a lot of reasons that we can suffer from these things. One of the main reasons is that we have some vulnerabilities in our energy. And also another reason is somebody is actually psychically attacking us. Now, I don't, yet, I don't want you to be afraid because people can psychically attack us by simply thinking intensely about us and being mad at us or being resentful or feeling negatively in some way and thinking about us. That can actually send a psychic attack through the channel of energy, which in Hawaii we call the Aka Chords. We can actually receive the blast of somebody's resentment and this can cause reverberating effects in our energy. One of these effects can be nightmares and night terrors. So that's what that is and that's a drag for sure, but there's hope. There are things that we can do, especially right before bed, that will keep nightmares and keep night terrors at bay. And I want to very quickly bring in shadow people here. I don't like to talk about them a whole lot. They piss me off. But shadow people are a thing. And shadow people, for whatever reason, are becoming more and more prevalent on the planet. I believe it's because as we shift and our vibration becomes finer, our ability to perceive on the light spectrum, because we, we can only perceive like 1% on the light spectrum. There's so much, 99% of the dark matter is imperceivable to us. But as we shift and as we ascend, it goes from 1% to 2% to 4%. We're starting to come into contact now with all that 99% of stuff, one of which are shadow beings. And so some of your nightmares may involve shadow people. Some of your night terrors may involve shadow people. And so I'm going to teach you something to do within that experience as well. But before you go to bed, you always want to make sure to say a quick prayer. Let, let just close your day feeling blessed, feeling grateful. Let the last feeling that you're running as a frequency in your body and in your energy be gratitude. Be joy, be thankfulness, because that is super high vibration. We only attract what we are. And so if we go to bed all bummed, all drunk, all high, all negative, yeah, we are likely to attract weird experiences in our sleep. But if we reboot right before we go to sleep and say thank you, we pray, maybe we say the Lord's Prayer or some other 
great prayer, that sets us up, it primes the pump, if you will, for a better sleep experience. Now, one thing in particular that I do that facilitates a whole lot of different experiences is I hue, H-U. Now, hue, um, the word is presently associated with a cancar or ek, but it is a ancient word, hue man, it's, it's the God, it's, it's an ancient word, but the thing about hue is that the word is powerful. I'm not going to go into a huge lesson on hue right now, maybe some other time. And when we're feeling afraid, when we're feeling vulnerable, and right before we're going to sleep, I recommend that you hew. And when I say you hew, that means you tone along singing the word hew at least three times. But make it ten. What's it going to hurt if you do more than three? And you want to do it by just singing it out. You want to breathe in, and then you want to sing hew. Can you even feel the vibration of that right now? I can. Let's do it again. Let's do it together because hue serves so many different purposes. It just sets us up for success. Breathe in. Hue. Word. I'm feeling it. Vibration. I'm digging it. <laughs> okay, I can feel that. Um, doing that three to 10 times or more, getting your crystal singing bowl out and just like doing your bowl and hewing, I love to do that, hewing along with the resonance that the bowl emits is super protective. It is super powerful. So hue can help with psychic protection. Hue can help with the reboot before we go to bed and the setting up of our day when we wake up. Our feet hit the floor. We say, thank you, we're alive. Let me be a blessing and a balm to somebody today. Use me as an instrument. Thank you, God. And we can also hue at that point. It kind of calibrates the energy around us and calibrates the energy of our day, making it high vibration. Now, I mentioned those Stinking shadow people. Don't be so afraid of them, people. They're just beings. We operate in this dimension with dominion, and they scare us because we let them scare us. And their transmission, how they feel to us in our body and in our field, feels like terror, but it's not ours. That terror doesn't belong to us. That's how they feel. That's what they emit. So very quickly, get out of the startle when you're confronted with a shadow being and get into your dominion. Get into your high vibration, knowing who it is that you are. You came here and you're running this. You're running LA. I run LA. We're running this dimension. And shadow people know that. Everybody in this dimension, every creature, every form, every pattern of energy knows that we have dominion. And so if you find yourself in an encounter with a shadow being or in the midst of a nightmare where you're going lucid or a night terror where you're awake but also kind of tranced out, start to say the hue. If you can manage to tone it, to sing it, all the better. But even if you just say it, it's very powerful. It's as powerful as some other things that you could say. For example, Jesus Christ, the name above all names, can often chase away night terrors and shadow people. But hue as well is very, very powerful. So play around with it, use it in your life. If you're driving down the highway and you're pissed off because someone just cuts you off and you're raging and you're negative, start hewing, start toning. It really will change the vibration of your entire experience. Thank you.